For more great content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. I'm Tyler, motherfucking okay, one. I played games forever. That's all I did, bro. I didn't go to parties. I made I made fifty two dollars this week. I'm gonna do this, bro. He is an insanely popular streamer making boatloads of money off of donations. And his only marketable skill is being an asshole. I was banned from League of Legends permanently forever. No coming back. I'm gonna miss you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys. I am. It's been fun. I've had a fun, uh, you know, a fun time streaming with you boys. No mana. No mana. You have no mana, bitch. You have no mana! Get the f*** out of here! Let's go! I think almost anyone else would have quit and went to a different direction, but he kept going. He found ways to make leak content when he was literally banned from the game. I'm sure everybody here has heard the news. Yeah. T1 has been unbanned from League of Legends. Hello everybody, I am live here at the Tyler One Dome. The atmosphere in here, and I have never seen anything like this before in my life. MLGP is in TCS World Champion! Thank you very much, gentlemen. I want to welcome Tyler One. Cedar man, he's so happy. Because I've been such a fan for a long time. Even as a kid when I started playing League, I was always faker this, faker that. It's really crazy to not only meet him, but to get to, to play games with him, man. Welcome to the first ever Tyler One Power Meet, powered by Twitch Rivals. During his late teens and early 20s, Tyler Tyler One Steinkamp's life was ruled by three things. Studying for a computer science degree, competing as a running back for Missouri Central Methodist University, and grinding League of Legends. I played games forever. That's all I did, bro. I didn't go to parties ever. The college football team would try and drag me out of my dorm. It would pound on my, pound on my door. Steinkamp, come out, man. Pound on my door. I, I, I was sitting there playing games. Let's go! I'm Tyler fucking what? As a solo queue player, Tyler One was seriously talented. In 2014, he climbed his way all the way to Challenger for the first time, the game's highest rank exclusive to the top 200 players in his region of North America. But despite that ELO ranking, Tyler One was not your try-hard, ultra-serious player. His initially small fan base on Twitch in 2016 would bear witness not only to elite level play, but a level of hyper aggression you don't often find at the challenger tier. Ain't nobody, ain't no, not Riot Games gonna tell me how to play. None of the, the tribunal, the, the, the report me gonna tell me how to play. I'm toxic, I'm Tyler One, I'm staying that way. F you, let's go. This you boosted ass that. idiot! That's where you're f brought! You say if you don't do it, we're going to be no! Tyler 5, Tyler 5. Holy fucking liquor motherfucker. If he would have hit that one bitch, it was GG. You do realize that, you boy. So I kind of keep saying that word. He would unleash fits of pure rage. He'd break headsets and he'd even go as far as throwing games. And of course, Tyler 1 would main Draven. A fairly niche champion whose in-game lore is that of a cocky, shit-talking warrior. A personality not unlike what you'd see on a typical Tyler 1 stream. And when things in-game didn't go his way, well, this would happen. Yeah, like that. Right there. Oh, well, basically, I'm just gonna keep on doing that. Not accused. Dumbass. Ooh, that synchronizing. One v two, no problem. Damn it! This play. Look at me. No, look at it. Oh, I'm outplaying her so hard. Crazy. 
When tilted, Tyler 1 would instantly run it down mid and int, repeatedly getting himself killed in order to gift the enemy team an unfair amount of gold and experience just to spite his teammates. These antics were so extreme that Tyler 1 even created an int list, a self-made collection of players who triggered him in the past so that he'd be ready to run it down mid if and when he queued up with them again. He had lists on lists on lists of people that he had deemed unworthy to play with, who had who had uh, wronged him. So if he ever got into a game with someone who wronged him, he would not even try to play the game. He would instantly run it down mid. He would die over and over again. Look at this shit. Defeat, 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 defeat. The only reason this was a win is because I carried it. Dumpster should not have won this game. Adding that to the list. By early 2016, Tyler One's Twitch channel was exploding in popularity. He became the face of toxicity in League of Legends, a game already notorious for being home to a sometimes destructive player base. But although Tyler One's fan base was on the rise, not everyone was on board with the idea of toxicity being celebrated. And little did Tyler One know, his time playing League of Legends was about to come to an end. The Fall Tyler One may have charmed some viewers with his over-the-top antics, but many also disdained how he glorified toxicity. The latter viewpoint echoed by longtime LCS caster David Freak Turley. I, I'm sad that like someone that vile is making so much money off the game now. Right? It goes to show that there's basically no such thing as bad bad publicity. Like, I mean, there does exist to some extent. He's a nobody. So it was like, look how toxic this guy is. And now he's an insanely popular streamer making boatloads of money off of donations and subs and whatnot. And his only marketable skill is being an asshole. Like. Tyler One notoriously got his own revenge in-game, but it was clear that his behavior could be a threat to the game's integrity. There's no mana. No mana. No mana. You have no mana, bitch. You have no mana! Get the f*** out of here! Let's go! Running it down mid and spoiling the experience for others became a classic joke. Abusing teammates in chat was becoming the norm for some people. And so, Riot intervened. Um, I was banned from League of Legends permanently, forever. No coming back. Uh, you know. How do I feel about that? Meh. I saw it coming, dude. Riot did not want me to, uh, you know, be the top lead streamer with uh, toxic gameplay. It it's a permanent ban. I, I cannot bypass it with IP, changing my IP, uh, playing a new account, hiding all my names with overlays. No, no, that, that won't work. If I stream playing on any account, I'll be banned from Twitch. In the past, Tyler One already had dozens of accounts banned, but in April of 2016, the man nicknamed the most toxic player in League of Legends received a much more permanent punishment, an indefinite ID ban. As soon as they are publicly known, that guy they're all banned, banned, or they get banned. Yeah, uh, exactly, where Tyler One wasn't always the biggest, but when he actually started getting recognition in his dorm room, Riot did all they could to cut the bud before it became weeds, right? Unable to stream League of Legends, Tyler One's growth that recently seemed bound for the moon was suddenly uncertain. You guys can ask me if I'll play other games on my, my Twitch? Probably not, no. Probably won't. Now, I'm not going to play League, but yes, I'm going to keep streaming. I, I don't know what game I'm going to play yet. I need to find a main one. Maybe I'll play, I'll, I'll try and coach those uh, League games, but I mean, I, I don't know if, if Twitch is going to let me do that. He decided to continue his Twitch journey with other games and IRL streams, but he was forced to essentially reinvent the wheel when it came to his content. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. 
I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I don't give a f what you guys say. I'm done, I'm done with that game. I'm done, I'm done, I'm f***ing done. I'm s no, I'm done. One more add to my f***ing, you know what? I'm going for 50 f***ing band accounts on Club Penguin. I'm, gonna, I'm about to break all records. Live as fuck from Tyler Wan's kitchen. A place where miracles happen and treats are made by your boy. Hey, let's go. Any fears that his viewership would fade without League were quickly forgotten. In fact, he was becoming one of the platform's leading creators. But despite the continuing success, Tyler One wanted to be back on Summoner's Rift in front of his fans. So he decided to walk a new path and prove to Riot that he was worth a second chance. The Rise Again With the fear of never being able to stream League of Legends again, Tyler One decided to rein in his behavior and become a positive influence on the League community. In 2017, he began coaching fellow Draven players on stream. And when he was playing League off-camera, something he consistently managed to do, he used the opportunity to show off his new attitude. You guys see that ribbon? You guys see that? Do you see that f***ing ribbon? Riot, I'm reformed! I'm the four! I told you! Here we go. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask politely for, bo for bot lane. Just like the hashtag reform. Nice communication. Hey, let's go. Let's go, baby. Old Tyler would have said, I'm going bot f you. No, no. Not me, bitch, eh? And it worked. You see? Performance. Let's go. Of course, none of his streams went by without him screaming or shouting at the top of his lungs, but Tyler One was, nonetheless, a changed man. If he's dead. Damn! After months of putting his best foot forward, the narrative from fans began to change. For many, it seemed Tyler One had done his time and redeemed himself. But Riot wouldn't budge. In fact, they doubled down, trying to remove any association with the band streamer from live events or even its Twitch chat. Riot employee Aaron Sanjuro Rutledge, who was personally tasked with banning many of Tyler One's accounts, released his feelings on the matter in a League of Legends Discord in October of 2017. Sanjuro later apologized for his words, but his days as a Riot employee came to a swift end. And the old Tyler One might have retaliated with all guns blazing, but the reformed Tyler One wasn't about to be baited. Perhaps the timing was coincidental, but the following week, Tyler One's ban was reviewed by Riot. I talked to Riot and they will reevaluate my ban January 1st, 2018, comma. I will have to submit all account names I planned last month. If my accounts come up clean, I will be free to play League publicly. Not only that, but he was back in the headlines a month later with a project of his own, giving back to the League of Legends fan base. Here we have game one coming live at you. Of course it's coming. You guys probably thought, wow, this did no idea. No, the games are coming down. Wait, we missed first blood. Oh no. I think that's gonna do it! I think that's gonna do it! MLGP! Is it TCS? Whoa! Champion! Ah, ah. Oh my God! And when it came to the Tyler One Championship Series, the production value might have been comical, but the prize pool of $10,000 was not. Tyler One did look to be reformed, and after investigating his off-stream accounts in January of 2018, Riot decided to revoke the ID ban. I'm sure everybody here has heard the news. Yeah. T1 has been unbanned from League of Legends, and it's f***ing true, after 613 days, I can finally, FINALLY play League of Legends without getting my accounts banned. 
I kept my, my mental strong enough to be unbanned from League of Legends. And thank you for that, Riot. I, I honestly believe if you if what happened to Tyler Wan in his dorm room happened to probably 99.99% .99 of people, they would have quit. Dressed as who else but Draven, Tyler One's return to streaming League of Legends broke the Twitch record at the time for concurrent viewership, peaking at over 380,000. But Tyler One wasn't just making waves through his own channels. Riot also embraced his return with open arms, bringing him on stage to interview, analyze, and play a show match at the LCS Summer Playoffs in 2018. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I want to welcome Tyler One to the desk. Hey. In 2017, I would go to the LCS Arena and they would stop fans from entering if they had a Tyler One sign and rip it in front of them and throw it in the trash can. You know, and eight months later, Tyler One in his ripped up, you know, suit is at the LCS finals in Oakland, serenading a crowd who are all there to watch him, thousands of people, and he is the star of the show. His conflict with Freak, the LCS caster who once spoke out against Tyler One's behavior, was also resolved in a very public forum. I walked into the room. I've never seen a man so gorgeous. A man so, well, bald. Yeah. And then I looked at myself and I, we had something in common. Exactly. I'm on your team. We are teammates. We are teammates. No, 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 I respect you. We're, okay. As a person, as a gamer, as a streamer, I believe we're gonna win bot lane. Thank, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Riot had done a full 180. The man they once ostracized from the game was now placed front and center for one of its biggest events. Tyler One was truly back, and he returned as one of Twitch's most popular streamers. He continued his annual TCS show in 2018 and 2019, raising the prize pool from ten dollars to $50,000. Hey, I, I, I hope this is a five hour long game five battle. Four, fifty, thousand dollars! Winner takes all! Yeah. With his star status and proven dedication to remaining a reformed player, the door was open for Tyler One to collab with League's most legendary player, none other than the unkillable Demon King himself, Faker. Every time I see him, man, he's so happy. I mean, I've been such a fan for a long time. Even as a kid when I started playing League, I was always Faker this, Faker that. It's really crazy to not only meet him, but to get to, to play games with him, man. He's the one. Both time, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we both time. <laughs> Agree to time? Yeah, thank so, you. So I'm as good as you, and you're as good as me. Yeah. And in League of Legends. Um, no. <laughs> oh, give me that. No. Towards the end of 2020, Tyler One himself signed on as a content creator with T1. So, because we're with T1 now, yes, in case you missed it, I am T1 T1, officially. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We can do a lot of new things with them. Not just like streamer wise, we're gonna make a lot of content. Content. And throughout all of this, Tyler One has not stopped the grind. He hit challenger rank again in June of 2021, playing as a top laner, the third role in which he reached challenger. Never. Done. It's done. It's done. It's in. Then it's done. He expanded his range of champions, moving on from his one-trick Draven, perhaps a sign of his transcendence from the raging player he'd once been, so quick to run it down mid and throw a game. Instead of getting banned now from his rage, he's putting it in different directions and he's using it to actually make him a bigger star, right? Because he showed that like, hey, I understand this game at a higher level, I'm gonna do it in jungle, I'm gonna do it in top lane, I'm gonna do it in mid lane. And although he and League of Legends certainly do go hand in hand, Tyler One has shown over the years that he's a personality-based streamer above all, able to attract eyes and attention to anything he broadcasts, whether it's the TCS or a powerlifting meet. Welcome to the first ever Tyler One Power Meets powered by Twitch Rivals. I'm your host, Uber Shouts. Today, the game is games. The streamers are swole, and you, the viewers, reap the rip rewards. But first, let's hear from our man himself. It is the Chad Mountain six foot five inch power gamer, Tyler One. 550 on the bar. You got it. 
That's 250 pound, kilograms rather. Bars close to the legs. Here we go. Up around His charisma, his entertainment value, and his consistently high energy have made him a megastar of the streaming world. But no matter what he's doing, you can always count on Tyler One to be that tank top wearing, screaming alpha male you either outright love or you at least love to hate. I know, guys, listen, hey, you look, watch, look, look at me. I'm the greatest of all time, and that's exactly why you watch. I completely understand that. Now, I'm not trying to be mushy mushy here, but truly, I do actually appreciate it. And I appreciate all you guys for watching. I, I mean, you're, I mean, you're, I mean, I mean, I appreciate it.